Here's how to use two Q179 Envelope++ modules together to create an eight-step sequence. First, you have to be in sequencer mode. And in sequencer mode, the jacks and the switches change functions. And in sequencer mode, this top jack is a start gate. And any gate going in here will start the sequence. The jack on the bottom here is a done output. So this done output can go over here and start the next sequencer, and that could go on for many sequencers. So that's one of the first things we'll do, is we'll connect the done output from the first sequencer up to the start input on the next sequencer. Now for this to work, we need to be in the middle cycling mode, which is daisy chain mode, on both of these. So what we're going to do is take our gate out from both of the Q179s, and those are going to go into a multiple, and they're going to fire our envelope generator for our voice. Now the next thing that needs to happen is we need to take the pitch from the first one and pass it on to the second one, and that's done with the amp input, which is a transpose. And so this will be our final pitch output for our synth voice. So now what we need is a gate here to start the whole sequence. And I'm using a V plug, but it can be a gate from a keyboard so that you can have an eight step arpeggiation. And if you want, you can even patch the done output from the final sequencer back into the start on the first one to keep the sequence going. Now, since we're not using an external gate input, these two are not really synchronized. Uh, without a gate input, the first knob becomes an internal clock, and that can give you a lot of interesting options. If you want them to go the same speed, all eight steps, then you want to use a common gate input. But in this case, we're going to use the internal clock, and we'll see how interesting that can be. So this one is going fast, and this one is going slow. And this one is going slow. This one will be fast. It's not hard to get them to go the same speed. Now remember, the pattern switch gives us the option of four steps, or six steps, which is up and down, or random in the center. Let's go to random and try that. And the clock still works. And here's the up-down, which is six steps.